Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. In this video, we shall learn to obtain position lines by sector boundaries and depth contours. Sector lights are the lights that are visible in different colors over different arcs of visibility. In some cases, the sectors may be for arcs of visibility and arc of obscurement of the light. The boundaries of sectors of arcs of different colors or arcs of visibility and obscurement are printed on the chart. When vessel observes the change taking place from one sector to another, means the vessel is on the sector boundary, the sector boundary then printed on the chart acts as a PL. Let us understand the sector boundaries as PL through this example of Bellina Koti light, which is a sector light visible in different colors over different sectors. In the chart, here is Bellina Koti light. And you can see that there are certain sector boundaries which are already printed on the chart. And this light is visible in different sectors in different colors. It's visible in white out here, red in this sector, white in this sector and green in this sector. Now, if there is a vessel which is on a northeasterly course, observes Bellina Koti light to change as follows. 20, 100 hours, it changes from white to red. 20, 20, it changes from red to white. And at 20, 50, it changes from white to green. Please remember, these change in colors have to be seen together with the course that the vessel is steering. In this case, the vessel is steering northeasterly course. We need to identify of all these, which are the PLs at 20, 100 hours, 2020, 20, and 2050. As you can see, when on northeasterly course, when the vessel crosses this PL, this sector boundary, the color would change from white to red. On this sector boundary, it would change from red to white. And on this sector boundary, it will change from white to green. So this would be 20 hundred RPL, this would be 2020 PL, and this would be 2050 PL. Now let us have the vessel on the reciprocal course. Same light with sector boundaries, and a vessel is steering southwesterly course. She observes Bellina Koti to change from green to white at 20 hundred hours. 2020 changes from white to red. And at 2050, it changes from red to white. We need to identify these PLs at 20 hundred hours, 2020, and 2050. So here is the vessel on southwesterly course. Now, as you can see from here, the vessel as she crosses this PL, the color would change from green to white. So obviously, this would be the 20 hundred hour PL. Then when it crosses this PL, the color would change from white to red. So this would be 2020 PL. And when she crosses this PL, the color would change from red to white. This becomes 2050 PL. So what you need to appreciate is that the change of color has to be seen together with the course that the vessel is steering. PL by depth contour. Depth contours are the lines drawn on chart, joining positions having same depth of the seabed. Depth on chart are called as charted depths. Charted depths are given with respect to chart datum, which is usually the lowest astronomical tide level. Observed depth must be reduced or converted with respect to chart datum before they can be compared with charted depths. A conversion, the tidal variance with respect to the chart datum must be allowed to the observed depth. Let's look at it through an example. At 1400 hours, a vessel drawing seven meters records under keel clearance or UKC of 45 meter by echo sounder. If the tide was 2 meters above the chart datum, calculate 
the charted depth at that particular time. Identify on the chart at that moment if vessel could be on a depth contour. So first and foremost, we convert the given depth to charted depth. UKC 45 meters, draft 7 meters. This gives us an observed depth of 52 meters at that point of time. Tide 2 meters above chart datum. So the charted depth at that time is 50 meters. Now, if you see on the chart, this depth contour, this depth contour on the chart is depth contour for 50 meters. This is the 50 meter depth contour. So if the charted depth at that time was 50 meters, that means the vessel is somewhere on this yellow highlighted depth contour and this depth contour now acts as a PL. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any feedback or you need any further support on it, please feel free to reach us on marinegurukul at gmail.com. Thank you once again for watching Marine Gurukul video series. Have a nice day.